and welcome to Tuned In, a show where I review cartoons, no matter how new, no matter how old, no matter the cost. And I'm going, I'm treating you to two Tuned Ins this month. It's, yeah, I took a look at Earth to Net on Disney Plus, but I had an original plan here for October since Halloween with a show called a television special that aired on NBC back in the 70s called Witch's Night Out. I knew I had to talk about this one because it was, yeah, it was a little weird. Uh, full of that 70s cheese that may or may not have been drug related. Probably was. It was the, it was the 70s. Anyway, Witch's Night Out is a Canadian animated television Halloween special. It premiered on NBC October 27th, 1978. It starred the voice talents of Dan Aykroyd, Catherine O'Hara, and Gilda Radner, just to name a few. The plot involves a depressed witch who was summoned by a pair of children named Small and Tender. Nice. Small and Tender are upset at not being able to scare anyone on Halloween. To remedy this situation, the witch turns small, tender, and their babysitter, Bazooie, into a werewolf, ghost, and Frankenstein's monster, respectively. The witch then takes them to a Halloween party already in progress at her isolated mansion on the edge of town. The citizens of said town, however, get offended at the thought of real monsters living there, and naturally form an angry mob. Under the leadership of the straight-laced and probably very religious, Goodly. Some of these names. The witch winds up losing her magic wand, which instead winds up getting attached to a woman named Malicious, and is unable to turn Bazooie and the kids back to their regular forms. The group of supernatural beings is chased through the town and to the forest by the mob, eventually losing them in the forest. Malicious and her partner, Rotten. Sure. Misuse the wand's powers and causes a lot of damage to the town, but also winds up summoning the witch and the kids to their location. Magic. You don't have to explain it. Regaining her wand, the witch uses its powers to turn Malicious and Rotten into monsters, while also turning the Frankenstein monster, ghost, and werewolf back into Bazooie, tender, and small. Eventually, the witch fixes everything with her powers to show the town she is not evil. In turn, the town winds up accepting the witch, and she decides to do something festive and turn people into what they ask to become for Halloween. That's one of those like, sort of feel-good endings, one of those you know, oh, they're accepting, and the villains got what they deserved, and... You know, it was the 70s, that's fine. Overall, I remember this being a very weird show the one time that I saw it. That's why I wanted to talk about it today. And the animation did remind me a lot of Schoolhouse Rock. If you use any of the streaming services, I think you can find it currently on Hulu. That is Witch's Night Out, if you want to try it out for yourself. Well, that's it for the review. I hope you have a very nice October and a happy Halloween. And this was Josh the Fox Mills telling you, asking you, to stay tuned.